Good evening. So today we uh, start with the second session of our analytical writing issue topic. So let's recap what we did yesterday. We learned that every issue topic creates a controversy where a statement is made and you are asked to take a stand because every statement that is made raises an issue. So the test maker is asking us to take a stand and express our perspective of that particular issue. But it's not enough that we just take a stand. We need to convince the person of why we are taking the stand. So therefore, every topic that we write, the issue, is a persuasive, is a persuasive essay. So, as I told you yesterday, when you get the issue topic on the computer screen, the topic itself will come in the first paragraph, followed by one more paragraph given to you in the test, which gives you the directions. So as soon as the topic comes on the computer screen, read the topic very carefully. Interpret, understand what the topic is. If possible, if you need to make it more clear, you have a scratch paper, pinpoint the most important words that are there in the topic, jot it down and ask yourself what that particular word means in the context of that particular topic. Once you have understood what the topic is, then the second stage, read what the direction is. Once you have read the direction, you go back to your scratch paper. Once you have read the topic and it is expressing an opinion, it is making a claim, it's important for you to ask yourself, do I agree or do I disagree? If I agree, how far? What reasons can I give in order to support why I agree with the statement? What kind of examples or illustrations I can use in order to convince the reader of my agreement? If I disagree, how far do I disagree? What reasons can I offer for my disagreement? What examples and relevant illustrations can be used? So every topic that you make, you read, you have the option of taking a stand. But remember, very few of these topics that you get, you can take a stand which is completely one-sided. Where you say, I completely, totally agree with the topic. Or I completely or totally disagree with the topic. Very few topics you can take one stand and write upon it. Most often the test maker himself in his instructions will tell you how far do you agree or how far do you disagree. So therefore I said most often the stand you take might be where you say I agree to or disagree to a large extent. Here you're, if you are saying that I agree to a large extent then your agreement will be 80 and your disagreement would be 20. So 80 is to 20 would be your agreement and disagreement. If you disagree to a large extent, then your disagreement will be 80% and your agreement would be 20. Based on that, I told you how to construct and format your essay. The introduction, the body and the conclusion. The second agreement or disagreement can be to a partial extent. Here you will find if you have reasons for agreeing with the topic, you have equally strong reasons for disagreement. So therefore here you will find that you can only take this kind of a 50-50 percent stand. And your construction of your essay changes based on that because you have to devote equal amount of time for discussing all the reasons for disagreement and equal reason of amount of time in discussing all the reasons for disagreement and then reach a balanced conclusion on both. So this is basically what we did as a general idea yesterday by discussing other matters like what constitutes a good writing, your language, your vocabulary, your grammatical proficiency, your ability to write without having to translate what you write from your mother tongue into English. These were some of the tips that I did discuss with you yesterday. So today what we are going to do is we are going to take our analytical writing book number two 
and we are going to read what the test maker himself is telling us about the analysis of the issue. Page number three of your book number two, we have what is called as understanding the issue task. I'm going to read what the test maker says initially. The analyze and issue task assesses your ability to think, think critically about a topic of general interest according to specific instructions and to clearly express your thoughts about it in, in writing. Each issue topic makes a claim that test takers can discuss from various perspectives and apply to many different situations or conditions. The issue statement is followed by specific instructions. So you see the second paragraph will be the specific instructions. Your task is to present a compelling case for your own position on the issue according to the specific instructions. Before beginning your written response, be sure to read the issue and instructions carefully and think about the issue from several points of view, considering the complexity of ideas as associated with those views. Then make notes about the position you want to develop and list the main reasons and examples that you could use to support that position. So this is what I told you when I spoke about finding out what kind of reasons, examples, and illustrations you can use in order to be able to convince the person of your viewpoint. Now, here the test maker says it is important that you address the central issue according to the specific instructions. So you see, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That means we have six different type of instructions that can come on your writing. The first one says, write a response in which you discuss the extent to which you agree or disagree with the statement and explain your reasoning for the position you take. Here, you are asked to take your own stand. The extent to which you agree or disagree in developing your and supporting your position, 